everyone so first of all uh, sorry if there's a little bit of sunshine coming through here I tried to draw the curtains so it's not too uh, crazy bright and um, what I thought I'll do today is I want to try something new so on Instagram I found the other day something quite neat looking so it's it's like a journal that someone keeps as a kind of diary slash journal and they um, use their illustrations uh, to convey a story so for example whatever happens wherever they go they just kind of do a little illustration of uh, object or a place or it could be anything and then just a little bit of journaling somewhere and they also incorporate stamps as well uh, to make it look like a journal um, so I thought that is great because well, um, because of my recent purchase of the Felicity Jane uh, stamps that I have shared with you so for example uh, these ones here I could stamp the dates and in general just um, start using these lovely stamps because I adore them but sometimes I buy because I know I will use them at some point and whenever that point will come I'm I don't know so yeah so I thought that would be a great way of trying to incorporate uh, journaling, stamping, illustrating all in one place and um, to do that in I decided to actually uh, use this um, alpha series Stillman and Burn lovely soft cover um, journal. Now what I thought I'll do today is I will illustrate this hand cream which I got um when i was um away in the summer and so this i believe well it's it's written in russian that's why you might not be able to read it unless you speak russian okay so i really like the fact that um there is a nice little box filled with botanical illustrations, like a breakdown of the ingredients that are supposed to be in their product. Okay, so I think I will go with the um, with this platinum carbon ink fountain pen, which I haven't used in a while. So the the reason I'm using the carbon platinum um, fountain pen is because it's quite fine. As you can see, the nib is very cute and um, it also, the actual uh, carbon ink is a waterproof ink. So uh, I will just map out the shape of the hand cream tube and I will try to keep the lines a little bit um wonky for the um style purpose okay so because i need to concentrate i will um, put some music on and let you enjoy the process Okay, so now I will proceed to the watercolor part, which is my favorite. Oh, actually, I forgot to write Zelona um, Apteka here. So I will do that, and then we will start with the watercolor part. And I'm using this plate, which I will uh, use perhaps some of the yellows on here, and then just use it uh, for mixing. Um, it just is super, super comfortable. 
um, to do it on a porcelain plate or a ceramic plate and watercolors I'm using my um, <clears throat> face palette so I will leave the link below you can have a look um, at all the colors and that is it um, there are also links to all of the colors in the link provided so let's crack on Okay, so I have dried the first kind of uh, wash and I do like it at this stage. So it's quite sort of minimal, doesn't have too much going on. The colors are quite pale and pastel. Um, I have did it with this brush and this is the Jackson's uh, Quill Brush, which is my favorite brush just to do anything and everything it's um like a, it's a good brush for any type of work so i would say it's my go-to brush when I so i was holding this brush at the end right about here for the purposes of filming as well as for this loose type of uh, illustration because quite typically you will see in um, illustrations that not the entire bit is um painted in there will be some white areas left and that's what makes it look like an illustration just leaving some bits and pieces and have that sort of more kind of um, untidy kind of look to it but um, I could like I said I could leave it at this stage but I also could go in and create just a little bit of detailing because for example I have zero detailing on this petal or leaf sorry and you can see here there's some veins and things like that I probably wouldn't do as much detailing but I would do something here just to give it a bit of depth and just make it stand out a little bit more as well as this um, I think it's a seat it seems to be blending it with this illustration so just to pick out a couple of things here and there I would go in and do that so I'm going to use my Billy Shawl um, this is a Kalinsky watercolor brush round two it's great for detailing because it comes to a fantastic point and it doesn't carry too much water so that means it's all good so I'm going to start with the yellow and I will try to add some depth to the leaf, adding a little bit of the quinacridon gold. So here we go, it's um, finished and I hope you can see how I could sort of bring out and lift those bits and pieces of the flower um, segments, whereas before it just sort of looked a little bit um, 
pale. Now the trick here is I think to leave the rest as it was because otherwise it can start uh, looking a little bit overworked but if you really wanted to you could just on one side um, let's see I'm going to go into this beautiful peach color that I have already sitting in my palette from a previous mix-up and I'm just quite literally going to put it on one side like this and I'm not even going to blend it out and I'm just going to also do that here like so oh this needs to be a bit darker actually just realized so this bit I'll make darker I won't bother with all the details like you can see here at the bottom just because there is no need for it so like that it seems to work quite well and wherever you have that need of wanting to correct something that's usually when things start to go wrong and look overworked really quickly um, so I would advise to just leave it I'm just adding a bit of color right here just to um, finish off the side so the next stage will be to somehow make it look like um, a journal page rather than just an illustration so stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> 